So, let's see. Where they are. User selection of OMG dolls. Oh, that's cute. 24K DJ family. That's pretty cool. Also scouting out some little Christmas presents. Okay, so they have the na na na, the small ones, which are really cute. I don't see, uh oh, yes I do. They have one right here, and it's Amelia Outback. So, and she is $29.99, so I might have to get her. I'm gonna go ahead and grab her for some help. Hello guys, and welcome to Ambrosia's Dollhouse. As you know, I have been going crazy over na 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 surprise dolls. With the first one being my Lila Lamb, which I took out of the package, which is standing right here. And I found out these old um, porcelain doll stands work wonders and they can stand on there. But anyway, this is, this is Lila Lamb and she is representing a lamb. She has a soft lamb hat and you can check that video out of Lila Lamb. But every time I go and I look for an, a na 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 surprise doll, I actually end up finding it. So this one I found was Amelia Outback. And Amelia Outback I found in Target. Let me move Lila aside over here. And it's okay if we can't really see her right now. We'll look at her later. But um, I found Amelia Outback in Target one day. And literally every time I go looking for these dolls, I actually find them. the last one left. She uh, retails at um, $30, $29.99, and so in our local Target, and so I really was glad to find her. But the Grail Na 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 Surprise Doll that I found out about in December when my son gifted my grands one was, ta-da, this one right here. This was my Grail Na 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 Doll, and this was like, this was out like over a year ago, so I was very surprised to find it. As a matter of fact, I was on the phone with him, and I was like, I really want one of those dolls that you gave the girls. And so anyway, he was like, well, maybe you could go online and look for them and so forth. And literally, I was walking by, and I said, here are the nine and nine surprise dolls. And up on the shelf was two of these, and I think they call them palms. But this one um, is Ultimate Surprise, Na 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 Surprise Doll. And also he told me if you go on walmart.com and or get the Walmart app, you can scan things and sometimes it's less than it actually is in the store. This one had a sale price of it for $59.99, but actually when I um, went over to the little uh, scanner, it was $44.47, I think. I'll try to include it up here in the video on the spot so that you guys can see. But anyway, the actual price, because I took a picture of it because I knew I was gonna get up to the cash register and they were gonna say, no, it's $59. But I was so super excited. And it's supposed to have 100 mix and match looks. It's, uh, and it's and this is when they first came out, I guess with the um, not at all surprise teens, because it says I'm taller and posable. Because the smaller ones were are not, um, are not, you know, posable. They're just, and their hats don't remove or anything like that. But anyway, they're still so awesome. So let's get into this box right here. I brought my scissors just in case, and I'll put my other stand right there. So hopefully this won't take us long to open. But yeah, I was so excited. And these are what I call fillers while you're waiting for another doll. You can always just get like a Playline doll because they're very, all of this was like, uh, all this was $45 and really retailing for much more it was still way less than we paid for our BJDs. So it's a really good, nice kind of fashion play line doll that you can have while you're waiting. I don't want to tear up my box because this is so awesome. And I didn't want to take this cord off, but apparently I'm going to have to. And the thing about the Nana Na Surprise Dolls was, yes, that's how you get it out, yay. I didn't really want to take that off though. But, um, cause I'm always looking to be able to do something with something. So let's see here. But the thing about these dolls, it's very hard to get them out of the package. These are so hard to get into. Ooh, Ooh they're wrong with it. Now, and we are finally in there. So now not surprised, as I was telling you, 100 magical looks, 100 uh, mix and match looks. I said magical, but it's mix and match looks. And to me, this looks like a bunny, but they say it's a cat, but it's got pink ears. So I'm gonna say it's a bunny. 
but anyway I don't know but anyway it is so cute and it is so soft that is the thing that I love about the na 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 surprise is that their hair is so soft it's like cotton candy and then this is so soft as well so let's get into this you open it like this it has a huge zipper pull right there okay and that's the inside and let's see this is the contents it tells you what's inside of here but I've watched enough videos to know kind of what's inside so I'll leave that right there just in case I need that for backup and these are the older ones where you actually had to blow them up and confetti went everywhere. Trust me, I know, because when they were opened at Christmas time, I was still getting confetti up like two months later. So, okay, here's the straw, and it's one of those paper straws that I don't like. But anyway, it's one of those paper straws. So let's see here. And this is the actual surprise right here. So these are the smaller surprises that are in, I think I have this upside down, or they put it in here upside down, let's see. Okay, these are the smaller, these are the smaller surprises that are in here, and you have to open them first with the straw. So let's put this over here, real quick. And it tells you, so this is the confetti on the bottom. But let's see here. And you stick the straw in the top, and you're supposed to blow it up, and confetti goes all over your home. So, let's see here. So, yeah, you stick the straw in here, and then you blow it up. And then this is the confetti, like I was saying, and this is what will spew all over your house. But we're not going to do that because I don't like blowing up stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down at the bottom safe. And that's a different way, that's another way that you can do that is, so I guess that's all the surprises. Let's see here. Yeah, and it's still got the confetti in the bottom for later use with something. But anyway, so let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven um, surprises in here. So let's go ahead and open this surprise. I think I know what this is. So let's open this one. This is the handle, isn't that neat? This is the lock for your case that goes right here. And you just put that on here like this. And it snaps. And you can carry your case like this. So that's cool. That's very cool. Ah, okay. Use that for travel or whatever. So let's see what we have in this bag. Oh, it looks like a sweater or something. Let's see. Oh, that's nice and it's soft and it's very well made. It is a little shirt. You all can see. Okay. That is so cute. That's very cute. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. So we've opened up that one, that one, and let's see what's in this one. And also I was thinking that the, the thing, the downfall for me for not a not surprise and now probably the only one is that I really love outfits and they didn't have a lot of outfits. So the best way I figured that I would be able to get them a lot of outfits was to buy um, this one. Oh, this is very nice. It's got faux leather with lace with ribbon trim and it has like um, some silk right there with little, uh, they're not sequins, but just little, with like little silver um, 
stickers, little silver, like almost like little silver diamonds on there, but yeah. Not diamonds. So there's that. That's a cute little dress. That's a very cute little dress. Huh. That's very cute. And these clothes are very, very well made. So I really like that. And the next surprise, I just see they have little question marks on there. Like what's in here. Let's see. Ooh, something else fuzzy. Oh, I know what this is. I know exactly what this is right here. This is the hat because the hats always come with like the little, oh, look at this one. Oh, that is cute. That is a very cute one. This one might be my favorite hat because I have, Amelia has the koala hat. She has the lamb hat and this is, I'll say the rabbit hat. <laughs> but it is so cute. Yeah. Okay, I'll put that right there. Over here. So we have three more to open. And you're supposed to be able to make a hundred different outfits out of these. So I don't know. We shall see. Because what I said I would do is maybe every so often, maybe I was thinking every day, I would try to see if I could make a hundred outfits out of these and just post one a day. Oh, this is cute. Look at this. It's a cute little skirt with like tulle around it and the same little, little diamonds all over it faux leather belt with the same little silver accents. I don't know what those are called. They're like little silver. I had some for my nail art, but they're really little silver. And it's got like a little shimmer underneath, like a shimmer material, almost like a little silky material. So that's cute. So that makes like three different outfits right there. Okay. So we have some more to go. I think there is some shoes, a few pairs of shoes in here as well. Oh, that's cute. It's a little, oops. it's a little, uh, a little shirt with a bunny on there. And it says Jador. Oh, that's cute. There is a perfume called Jador. That's what it says. It says Jador. That is so pretty. And it's a little, like a little t-shirt. Huh. I bet these could fit some of my BJDs too, especially my Somni. Okay, so that one. That's another reason for buying Playline dolls because sometimes they have some really well-made clothing that can actually fit on our BJDs. So, now this is, I think, like a little blue jean jacket, which I saw in the picture. And I don't see the sleeve here. Yeah, this is the blue jean jacket. Let's see how this made. It's like very, now this material reminds me of a material, uh, I don't know what it is called, but it's like a, it's like a um, stiff part. It's like, it reminds me of, it's, it's not faux leather, it's something else, but it reminds me of something that my dolls would have had when I was a little girl. Like my Barbies would have had something made out of this kind of material. And it's, I don't know how you get it to, it's not really, I don't like the way it molds, but anyway, it's pretty cute. And it's made very well. The, the stitching and everything is very nice on that. So that is one, two, three, four, five items that you get. You're supposed to be able to make a hundred different looks, so we shall see. But let's get back to this. So now inside of here, turn it around. Inside of here, you take this part out, which is still so cool because you can like store your stuff in here with that. And okay, cool. We're not done yet. Here's another and one more surprise. So see, I was impatient. Uh, <laughs> and this is cute. Okay, they want you to blow this up too. So yeah, that's not gonna happen. So we're gonna cut across the top like so. But just for the fun, you know, if you wanted to, you could blow it. You know, blow it up. And, oh. And they smell kind of neat. It's a very neat smell. It almost reminds me of my wand that I have from um, Universal Studios, my Harry Potter wand, the way that it smells the case. So let's see what's in here. Because I'm like, okay. Oh, look at this. Blue glasses. That is super cute. And it says na na na, just na 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 on there. And it's like little bunny rabbit ears. That is super cute. So, okay, that's another part of the outfit. That right there. And, see what's in this one. Oh, here we are, my favorite thing 
Oh my goodness. I've heard so much about the uh, flocked slippers and they are, oh my goodness. These are gonna be my favorite shoes for her. There they go. These are the slippers and they added like fur on them. So they're really like really soft slippers. These even move. So they do look like they're really bunny slippers. The face is soft looking. They did an excellent job. They did the, um, the scrunchie right there on the side, like real, like real soft slippers. Oh my goodness. This was like my favorite thing that everybody kept talking about, the slippers and the softness. I'm so glad to have these. Oh wow. <laughs> like my favorite thing in the whole box right now is those. So yeah. Let's see what we have here. Oh, I don't want to cut anything. Ooh. Okay, these are some awesome shoes right here. I love a pair of heels, and especially these. They're kind of like almost wedges, but not quite. But look at that, they have the little bunny design on the back with a bow, and they are pink. These are very nice. I like these as well. So I can see now. I'm seeing the outfits take shape. How do you just, I guess, mix and match them all up and make them? And this is another one. Expect me to blow it up and spray it confetti. We're not going to. So we're gonna open it like this. And there's more inside of here. And it also has a neat smell. I don't know what that smell is, but I like it. It's a neat smell. Okay, so what's in here? Let's see here. So that's two pair of shoes so far. And I do think I saw four on the package. Yeah, more shoes. This is so fun. Okay, and these are pink and black bunny slippers, bunny shoes. These are these are definitely wedges with the pink sole on them. And of course, stay tuned for the pictures because we are gonna take pictures of all these shoes so you can see them really well up close. Okay, here. Okay, they literally wrapped up everything. This is her comb, and it's a little bunny rabbit brush. I mean, this is her bunny rabbit brush. That's really nice. I think this one is bigger than the other two. It may not be, but this is her, but no, it's not. This is her bunny rabbit brush. So I have three nice brushes to go with every girl. And lastly, on the surprise side. Oh, now these are cute too. Such great fashion. These are so cute. Look at these. These are some little boots, and boots are also my favorite. There's a little scuff on the back, but that is fine. There's some little boots right there. What's well, like a little? Well, you know what? I bought a pair, a pair of boots that were actually intentionally scuffed, so oh well. These are so super cute. I like these. Very cute. Now, after all this, we get to the part that we have been waiting for, and that is to see the actual girl. So let's see here. Wow, now that's a good reveal that they should do for um, the rest of them. So here she is. Let's see here, and I think this is the part where I'm gonna have to literally wrestle her out of the box. Let's see here. Yeah, these dolls are so hard to get out of the box. So, and my little case is rolling away. Uh, let's see here. Her hair is super, uh, super soft. Okay, let's see here. So you have to cut very carefully so not to cut her hair when you're taking her out. And I don't really know why they find it necessary to wrap them in there like that, but they do, so wait a minute. Okay, wait, let's see here. Okay, I was able to pull her hair out like that. Let me see, and I will cut ever so slightly this one by her neck. Because they are made out of like a stocking material, I think, I'm not sure exactly what it is but it's almost a stocking material, so you don't want to, and she has a whole lot of hair. It's not as soft as the, the, the um, Lila Lamb and Amelia Outback, 
Um, I know for sure Lila Lamb is not as quite as soft as her hair, but it's still soft. But once you felt their hair is kind of like, but this is, I think, before, this is before her, before they came out. So they probably made their hair a lot softer. But anyway, this is her. So this is how all the Na 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 dolls um, are. They are um, uh, screen printed with the lingerie on. So she has little bunny rabbits and then she's got this cute little lingerie top on. Um, and their eyes are screen printed and her eyes are like blue and her lips are like a light pink. So kind of matching her hair. So that's super, super cute. And let's see what we want to put her on. Her first outfit, let's see what it's going to be. This almost looks like some um, pajamas, so let's put her on this outfit. If you have the smaller Nana Na dolls, their arms and things aren't bendable, but the newer ones, they are, they do have posability a little bit, not really a lot, but enough. And I like the way their little hands are made. There's like stitching that gives them all the fingers. And she also has some jewelry on. They also have like, like they'll have on little, right on a little bracelet right there and there's nothing on this arm but on that one she has a little bracelet and she has velcro in the back and this might also fit on one of my bjds as like little um night night shirt i like it yeah this is so super cute yeah i like it. see there that is one cute look right there that's one cute look so so super cute and also these are great stands these are my old porcelain doll stands but these are great stands to use for them because they don't stand up by themselves. That's another thing, they do not stand up by themselves. So, okay. So there you have it with her. Anyway guys, thanks for joining us and stay tuned for the pictures and hope that you enjoy and check out the Na 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 Surprise. They're awesome. Check them out.